Well, hello again, Number Ninjas. This video is actually a second part to our lesson about subtraction. Specifically, in this video, we need to know how to subtract when our top multi-digit number, our total, contains zeros. And sometimes this is known as subtracting across zeros. So let's try this one. In the problem, 900 take away 137. We've neatly stacked our numbers, paying close attention to place value. We start by subtracting the numbers in our ones place first. Now we can see that zero take away seven cannot be done. So just like our saying reminds us, when there's more on the floor, go next door. Our seven is more. We're gonna try to go next door to borrow. In this case, however, our neighbor is a zero, which means they have nothing they can give us. We can't borrow from nothing. So what do we do? When our neighbor is a zero, we have to go to the next higher place value. In this case, it's a nine in the hundreds place. So we can borrow one from them. So nine, take away the one that we're going to borrow leaves him with eight hundreds. Now let's pause right here for a moment though. We borrowed one from the hundreds place, but we can't give it to our ones place. We have to give it to our tens place. Each place value gets 10 times greater as we move to the left. So when we borrow one from our hundreds place, it gives the tens place 10 more. So instead of having zero, we just borrowed 10 more. Now we have 10. Now that we have 10 in our tens place, now we can borrow. He becomes a nine. And then we give it to our ones place now. Because 10, the one 10 that we borrowed, of course, means 10 ones for us. I want you to get into the habit of saying to yourself as you do this, borrow, then give, borrow, then give. Very deliberately, one step at a time. Sometimes I'll hear fourth graders say, well, I just turned all my zeros into nines and then I subtract it. Those students don't understand exactly what they're doing. We're, we're not magicians. We can't magically just turn a number into something else. All we're doing here when we're borrowing, when every time you borrow and we give to a different place value, we're actually just renaming the number, but we still have the same amount on top. If I have 800 and then I have 90 and then I have 10 ones, I still have 900, the same 900 that I started with. So by borrowing and then giving deliberately with each step, I know that I'm not just magically turning the numbers into something else so that I can complete the problem. I think we're ready to subtract now. My ones place now has 10 and 10 take away seven is three. In my tens place, I've got nine. Take away the three, leaves me with six. And the hundreds place has eight. Take away one, which leaves me with seven. So our answer is 763. Let's do another one just for practice. Once again, we're gonna start with the ones place. Four, take away six. We have to stop though because we've got more on the floor. The six is larger. So we can't give ourselves 10 more, we have to borrow. Remember, borrow, then give. So I'm gonna borrow from my neighbor. He has three, so he can give us one. So I borrow, now I am actually giving myself 10 more. I just borrowed from my neighbor, one from my next higher neighbor means 10 for me. I already had four, so once I give myself those 10, I become 14. And 14, take away six, leaves us with eight. Let's move to the tens place, two take away four. Ah, we have an issue, I've got more on the floor, so I have to go next door. Once again though, my neighbor has nothing to give. 
needs a zero. So I have to go to the next place value to borrow. This neighbor also has zero. So what do I do? I have to go to the next place value to borrow. And they do have something that I can borrow. So my ten thousandths place has two. I'm going to borrow from that two which means it turns into a one. And remember, once I borrow, now I have to give. I have to give that 10 that I just borrowed to the place value, the thousands, which has a zero. So I just gave, I borrowed from the two, gave to the thousands place, now it has 10 total. Borrow, then give, I'm getting ready to borrow before I can give again. So now I'm going to borrow from my 10. Borrow. Then give 10 more to my hundreds place. Now I have enough. I can borrow. Then give 10 more to my 2. So my 2, oops. My 2 becomes a 12 because I borrowed 10 from my neighbor. When I borrowed 1 from my neighbor, it meant 10 more for me. So my 2 is now a 12, and my 12 has plenty that I can take 4 away. So 12 take away 4 becomes 8. Now in my hundreds place, I only have 9, and 9 take away 4 leaves me with 5. In my thousands place, 9 take away 8 leaves me with 1. And in my ten thousands place, 1 take away 1 is 0, but we know that we don't write our leading zeros. So I'm going to take that off of there. My answer to this problem is 1,588. Now I will say this, subtracting across zeros takes practice. We're going to model these in class and I promise you'll be an expert in no time. So I would like you to try to complete the three problems in your handout. Go back, rewatch this video as many times as you need to. And as always, write down any questions you might have. We'll discuss them in class. Good luck with your subtracting. I look forward to see, seeing all that good hard work um, tomorrow. See you soon.